On the 18th of August, Russian telegram channels began sharing photographs of weapons claimed to have been captured from Ukrainian forces near Slobyansk, including a Dushka, a damaged MG4259, and most interestingly, a Swedish PV-1110. The Panzer Vange PS-110, or PV-1110, is a recoilless rifle developed by Bofors, which saw service with the Swedish military between 1959 and the late 1990s, early 2000s. While not the only recoilless rifle in use in Ukraine, others include the Karl Gustav and the SPG-9. The 90mm PV-1110 is perhaps the rarest. Developed in the early 1950s, it was adopted by Sweden in 1959. The PV-1110 could be mounted on vehicles, but also on a wheeled carriage, with the barrel suspended from an ingenious ball mount. In the photographs of the captured example, showing its serial number as 5936, we can see the guns mounted on this type of two-wheeled carriage. The ball joint is intended to compensate for firing in positions with uneven ground. The PV-1110 weighs in around 260 kilograms, just over 570 pounds, and has an optical sight on the left side of the barrel, as well as a spotting rifle based on the AGM-42, chambered in 7.62 by 51, mounted on top. The PV-1110 has an effective range of up to 1,000 metres, but engagement of moving targets is limited to around 700 according to the Lithuanian army. With a good crew, it's capable of firing up to 6 rounds per minute. The older M62 heat round could penetrate up to 380mm of rolled homogeneous armour. The M77 could penetrate up to 500mm, and the M84, the most modern and capable round, could penetrate up to 800mm of armour. It's unknown just what type of ammunition has been provided with the guns. While it could be suggested that the recoilless rifles like the PV-1110 are obsolescent, the continued use of the SPG-9 shows they still have their uses. The PV-1110's low profile, combined with its ammunition's quite effective penetration, means it's still a viable weapon against most of the armoured vehicles it's likely to encounter. Following on from the first sighting in Ukraine, later on the 22nd of August, footage of a PV-1110 firing from a defensive position surfaced. And we can see here the gun mounted on its very recognisable carriage. But how did the Ukrainian forces come by their PV-1110s? They were likely transferred from one of the Baltic nations, which have supplied Ukraine with considerable military assistance. Latvia, Lithuania and Estonia all received a number of PV-1110s from Sweden when they were retired from service. It's unclear how many of the weapons each of the three countries received. The Estonian Defence League reportedly has over 100 in its infantry as of 2018, while the Latvian National Guard have a similar number. Lithuania's Army and National Defence Volunteer Force have previously been seen equipped with the PV-1110 in recent years, but they've been reportedly since placed in wartime reserve storage. So, with the Baltic nations slowly removing the guns from service, it's likely that the PV-1110s that we're seeing in Ukraine are from one of the three nations that received the guns from Sweden. It remains to be seen if we'll see more of the PV-1110 in Ukraine in coming weeks and months. But as I mentioned earlier, it has to be one of the rarest recoilless rifles in the field, and it was a surprise to see them appear. Thanks for watching guys, as always I hope you found that interesting. Don't forget to check out our playlist which collects all of our videos looking at the weapons and small arms being used in Ukraine. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Please do share the videos with friends, it really helps us get the word out about the channel and the project. If you really enjoy our content, please consider supporting us over on Patreon, where you can get access to all of our videos early, as well as some other cool perks as well. Thanks again for watching, catch you next time.